Hi guys and happy hashtag Thrive Tuesday, totally awesome Tuesday, whatever you want it to be. So just wanted to pop on here really quickly to do a little training on some of the new things that you can do in regards to increasing engagement on Facebook. Hi, Laura. And for those that are interested, um, if you share this onto a private team page, if you share this um, on your personal wall or you tag three people, uh, I will send you a free link to download uh, the PDF to optimize your LinkedIn profile for those that are looking for extra help with that. Um, and all you have to do is write hashtag I shared or I tagged after you tag three people or uh, after you share this onto a personal page or a private network marketing page. Hi, Mark. So there have been some changes to the Facebook uh, algorithm or way that it, it could benefit your business the most. So I wanted to give you guys three simplistic ways of what you can do on, on Facebook to get the desired results. Um, Laura, thank you so, so much. Um, I will definitely be sending that over to you. I'll drop the link right in there. So as Laura has done, tag three people and use the hashtag I tagged or I shared and I will obviously send that out. So uh, I think everyone is kind of feeling the same way uh, about Facebook. They're, they're not exactly happy with the engagement that they're getting. They feel like there's a lot of posting and praying. They feel like you know, the, they're, they're talking to the same people each and every day, and, and that's, that's really that, that's true. It's, it's how it's going. But what I can share with you guys is that I don't believe that there's way to uh, there's I don't think there's ways to manipulate the the platform, but what I do believe is that there are ways to best use it so you can see and get the desired results that you're looking for. And what I'm going to do today is I'm going to go over three different things that you can do. So if you are ready, um, you know, please give me some hearts, some wow faces some thumbs um, or why or yes in the chat box. And again, uh, I highly encourage if you're coming on here later to tag people, to share this, and obviously I will send you the free link uh, as Laura has already done with tagging some of her teammates in there as well. So again, here are three things that you can do. So number one, you wanna post things that people actually want to see. So examples, you, you know, a selfie, your life, you know, what you're doing, you know, professionally, personally, um, or your family. And um, I'll, I'll give you a perfect example. Um, yesterday was Nancy's birthday. So we, we spent the day together doing some stuff, took her out to dinner. And I, I did a post of, you know, basically of a collage and wishing her a happy birthday. And it got, it got great engagement. Like my, my network really enjoyed it. Um, it got, you know, a little over 70 likes. It got a bunch of comments, people engaging in and outside of network marketing, which is what you want. And then at the same time, I posted uh, a couple hours after that about my, my latest episode of my podcast. And it got one like. So again, what people need to understand is that social media, these platforms, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, they will always tell you what works and what doesn't work. So when, when you're posting on these platforms, the engagement that you get from it, as people say there's, there's best times to post and hashtags, and yes, you know there are definitely ways that you can add things to it to get better engagement. But from a, a foundational standpoint, these social media platforms will show you with the engagements and it's gonna say, yes, this post worked, your network really enjoyed it, give me some more of this. 
So I saw and noticed that, hi Kathleen, I noticed that the post that I made about Nancy's birthday, my network really enjoyed. So I said, you know what? I'm going to get a picture of us at dinner and after dinner, I'm going to post it and just say, you know, where we went to dinner. And again, my network liked it. That post got about 40 or 50 likes. So again, you have to watch and you have to listen to what Facebook or any of these platforms are telling you what to do. Dennis Ortiz, good to see you on here, my brother. Hi, Tara. Um, Heather, good to see you on. So again, if you're just jumping on, I have a brand new infographic about LinkedIn. If you would like the infographic, as Laura has done previously, tag three teammates or share this into a personal page or a private page and use the hashtag I shared or I tagged and I will send you the link to download that PDF for LinkedIn to optimize your profile the right way. So again, number one, Again, on and, and I'm going to use Tara as an example. Um, she's in her third trimester um, with her new soon-to-be baby, and she's posting things in regarding her pregnancy and, and things that she's going through and changes and how she feels. And linked uh, Facebook will then let her know what's going on with that. And so she, if she has high engagement, if she has high likes, you know, uh, high, high uh, amounts of comments. That's Facebook saying, hey, Tara, people really like seeing about you and your journey being pregnant. Give us some more of that. So Facebook will always tell you what you want. And then I'm going to use Tara as an example, and she can back me on this. And then at the same time, she'll post a picture of like a birthday cake shake or, you know, free enrollment or this, that, or the other. And you'll see that engagement drop down. You'll see engagement from your team and those that are on the program. But that organic engagement that she saw from her pregnancy posts from people outside of her network, it disappears. because. That's, and she's going to go live today for an update. And that's exactly what you want to do. Andrea, good to see you on here. And that's the thing. Facebook will always tell you. Facebook will always tell you what works and what doesn't work. So again, number one, make sure that you post things that people actually want to see. You, your life, your family, what's going on. And, and I remember Tara did a video when they were doing the gender reveal and her youngest daughter um, she started crying. Um, I mean, obviously she's, you know, three, three and a half, so it's kind of hard for them to compute. But it got a lot of engagement because there's so many moms and dads and brothers and sisters that can relate to how her daughter was feeling when she found out, you know, the gender of the baby. Oh, I wanted a baby brother. I wanted a baby sister, whatever it is. Facebook will always tell you it will always tell you that what you're doing is working, give us more. So if that all makes sense so far, please type Y or yes in the chat box. And again, um, if you share this live, either now or after, or tag three people, use the hashtag I shared or I tagged, and I will send you a free link to download my free PDF to optimize your profile on LinkedIn. Um, and if you missed the article that I posted the other day um, from Gary V, he said right now 2019 is the year of LinkedIn, but also the engagement that's going on on LinkedIn right now uh, is where Facebook was five to seven years ago. So just to let you guys know that. So again, you want to optimize your profile. And if you don't, and if you haven't, or you need to revamp it, um, definitely tag three people or share this so I can send you that downloaded link so you can get the PDF for it. So again, number one thing, post things that people actually want to see, you, your life, your family. Number two, number two, hi Roseanne. Number two is post things that people outside of your opportunity will engage with. So let me ask you guys this. So, so obviously you guys know, obviously Tara is, is having her, her third baby. So um, in the chat box below, Kathleen's in real estate, type some things in the chat box below 
outside of network marketing, type some things below in the chat box that you're either passionate about or you're, you're actually going through in your life. So right now, um, Tara is obviously, um, you know, going through having her third baby and this, that, or the other. So that's basically the chapter of her life right now. So type in the chat box where you are in your chapter of life outside of network marketing. It could be a passion. It could be a hobby. It could be something that you're going through. And Tara, thank you so, so much um, for tagging those people. I will send you that link. Uh, Dennis says food. Roseanne says gardening. Okay, this is perfect. So what you guys, and this is a great exercise for you guys to do. So um, body transformation, getting um, Patty certified, son going to college. Great. So Laura, this is good. So, so write these things down on a piece of paper, growing uh, my family and building a business travel. So things outside of your network marketing opportunity, you want to start speaking on. So um, for Laura, um, you know, she's having her son go to college. So right now there are so many parents that are maybe feeling stressed about, oh my God, I can't believe, you know, my baby's leaving the house and they're going to college and who am I without my kids in the house? And so there's a lot of stuff that's going on there. Thank you, Roseanne, for tagging those people. I will send them to you later. So something that Laura could do is start speaking on maybe some tips or helpful information about getting parents prepared for when their kids go to college. So she could do a Facebook Live on this. She can do share an article on this. She can even do just a friendly tip. So that's one thing. Um, Dennis loving travel. So you know, for people that love to travel, there's a lot of anxiety and stress that go around planning travel packing for travel. So maybe Dennis could do, when he's getting ready to travel, he can do a Facebook Live about maybe how he packs for a long trip or how far out do you plan a trip. So that's something that could be relatable to Dennis in his network. That's going to bring some more people in. Um, and Roseanne with gardening, obviously we're in springtime on the East Coast, actually everywhere, but this is on the East Coast where I live where Tara lives, you know, in the New Jersey PA area, everything is in bloom. So this would be a great opportunity for Roseanne to maybe do a Facebook Live or give, give some helpful tips for her gardening friends. So, you know, as spring approaches or now that spring is here, here's how you can have a beautiful bed of flowers on the side of your house or in the front of your house or around your trees, something like that. So posting content, it doesn't, it doesn't always have to be about your opportunity. You know, Facebook is, is a platform where you can talk about everything that you're passionate about, where you can help people. And thank you, Dennis. So just as I'm doing for you right now, I'm training you guys on how to expand your knowledge of Facebook. You can take this knowledge and then you can expand your networks with the knowledge that you have. So, you know, social media is my jam. That's what I love teaching. So Dennis and Roseanne and Tara, all those people can then go on. You know, Tara can talk about, you know, a growing family. You know, I, I think a, something big for her, she doesn't look it, but Tara's in her 40s. She looks like she's 25. But Tara can talk about the big difference of having a child when you're, you know, in your 20s or 30s compared to when you're having children in your 40s. So that's something that's relatable to an audience where they're like, oh, I never knew that. Tara, thank you for sharing it. So there are so many helpful things that you guys can bring to your network. You just have to start thinking outside of your network marketing opportunity because when you start thinking outside of your network marketing opportunity, you bring more people into it because you become more relatable. Relatability is key. So if this all makes sense, um, some thumbs, some hearts, uh, some wow faces, why you're yes in the chat box. And if you are just coming on now live or on the replay, if you tag three people as Roseanne just did or share this on your personal or private network marketing page, use the hashtag I shared or I tagged and I will send you a free download of how to optimize your profile on LinkedIn uh, because again, this is the year of LinkedIn. Gar if Gary V says it, I've been saying it for a long time. But if Gary V says it, you know it's true. And he says that content-wise, engagement-wise, 
LinkedIn right now is where Facebook was five to seven years ago. So if you're not on there, get back on there. If you've never worked with me, reach out to me. If you have worked with me, make sure you get back on there and get back to what I taught you. Thank you, Roseanne. I appreciate that. So again, number one, post things that people want to see you, your life, your family. Um, thank you so much, Tara. And number two, post things that people outside of your opportunity will engage with. So you take you personally and share that information. Now, number three, and this is along the same lines, post things that will engage people on a human level. So what I mean by that is vulnerability. So um, I'm going to use Tara as an example. Tara, um, if you could type in the chat box the number one struggle. So vulnerability is key, and this is what I'm going to pull out of Tara really quickly. Tara, what has been the, the greatest vulnerable struggle that you've had to overcome uh, in being pregnant in your 40s with your third child? So again, um, vulnerability is key. So letting people into what, you know, everyone is, is faking. I see a lot of people faking it on social media, like everything is fine and dandy and this. And, and listen, we want life to be rainbows and sunshine and lollipops. That's great. But, you know, you, to be relatable, letting people know that you're going through something. So, so Tara, what has been the greatest thing that you've had to overcome or what's the greatest thing that you're overcoming being in your 40s and pregnant for the third time. And again, I'm, I'm using Tara as an example, uh, balance and procrastination. So again, this is a, a woman who has a child in college in Hawaii, and she's in New Jersey, just to give you an, an example, big difference. Um, and she has a three and a half year old, four year old, and she is approaching having her third child. So you can see the internal struggle that someone like Tara, even though her, her husband, Mark, is amazing, you know, as parents, there's a balancing act. You know, uh, I, I don't want to feel guilty about building my business, but I need to build my business, but I want to give myself to my kids and my husband and, and vice versa. So, so that's a great live, Tara. So if you can talk about balance and procrastination on a Facebook Live in being a mother, um, a, a soon-to-be mother, but already a mother, and maybe having a child away, um, and she fosters her nephew. So you want to add that into everything. There are so many different places that Tara can touch so many lives because she's not the only person that fosters kids. She's not the only parent that has maybe a kid in college, but also a newborn on the way, um, or a young child as her second daughter is. Um, and she's had him since three weeks, uh, and he'll be one on Friday. All right, so this is a woman who has her first daughter in college. Her second daughter is three, three and a half. Um, she, they adopted their nephew, who's going to be one, and she's in her third trimester with her third child. So again, those are people, so, so Tara has such an empowering story to share with other people because there are so many women out there that can turn their excuses into reasons by hearing Tara's message. And I'm just, I'm filtering it right through her. She's blessed to have big support groups, husband and friends, and that's what it's all about. So Tara, my advice to you again, use that vulnerability either in posts in Facebook Lives to let, so bring people closer to you. And Pam, thank you for sharing. I will send you that link out later. So again, you want to humanize yourself as much as you can, speaking eye level to people. And a lot of people are, are looking down and you know onto people. No, you wanna bring yourself down eye level because there are so many things, thank you, Dennis, there are so many things that people can touch and share upon. You know, and the reason why, when, whenever I'm interviewed, whenever I do a podcast, I'm always transparent with my story. And this is something I was talking about with my, my fiance. You know, being bullied and picked on, being twice divorced, um, filing for bankruptcy, you know, my, my father going to prison for two and a half years. You know, those are all things. You know, I've dealt with loss. I've dealt with financial failures. I've dealt with relationship issues. I've been bullied and picked on and, you know, you know, emotionally abused in that sense of being bullied and picked on. So when I highlight all those things in my story, 
someone is going to relate to something in my story. They're going to, there's going to be someone watching that's in financial disarray or the relationship isn't good, or they were bullied and picked on or abused or, you know, this, that, or the other. So the more relatable you can be on a human level, the more you can draw people into what you're doing. So don't use social media, specifically Instagram and Facebook as your retail store. You are so much bigger. You know, yes, you're a network marketing leader. You're so much bigger than that. There are so many people that aren't being touched by you and your gift because you're only catering to people in your network marketing. So once you start thinking outside the box, getting in the uncomfort zone as they talk about it, start being transparent. Start being more real. Be a salmon in a world of fish. Swim upstream. There are too many people fishing in the same ponds on Facebook and Instagram, but that doesn't mean you can't change it up. You know, just with that exercise that I went through with Tara, you know, she could completely blow the lid off of her business because she could start attracting other women out there that feel the same way that she does, but they would never know it because she hasn't engaged with them in a certain way, but now she's going to. So this is the mindset that I need you guys to be in. So again, those that do more, get more and become more. So take people on your journey. So Nicole, who just popped on here, another perfect example. For those that don't know Nicole, if you saw her on social media, you'd be like, man, this chick is jacked. She's ripped. But what people don't know about Nicole is that she has lost hundreds of pounds to look the way that, she's done, that, that, that she does right now. People would never know it. They might see her transformation, but no one knows what she had to go through to get to where she is now. Everyone sees the, sto the glory, but they don't know the story. So again, sharing yourself, sharing what you've been through. There is a way to impact people in so many ways you guys can't even imagine. And again, for those that are jumping on, tag three people or share it and use the hashtag I shared and I tagged and I will send you a free link to download my PDF on how to optimize your profile on LinkedIn so you can get moving and grooving on there. Um, and Roseanne says, Scott, you are amazing. Thank you for such great contact. Hi, Nicole, good to see you. Jolene says, I have found I have the most engagement when I tell stories around my transformation, not flashing product pictures. Uh, Dennis says, value bombs. Nicole says, LOL, thank you. No, and it's the truth. And, you know, Nicole does MMA. I mean, she's a bad ass. And this is what people need to understand. Uh, Michelle Smith, my dear friend who just popped on, you know, her daughter um, is a collegiate softball athlete. And I know this because I pay attention to what people are, what's going on in their life. I love knowing what people are doing. Hashtag facts, Nicole says. Um, so, Michelle, if you don't follow her, on uh, Instagram, uh, her, her handle is at Amplified Life, and she really centers a lot of what she does about her workouts, but also supporting her daughter in her softball career. So those are things, there's other softball moms and softball dads out there that really, that brings people in. So really guys, what I want to encourage you all to do is really focus on finding ways to tell and share your story where it's going to draw people in. Show vulnerability. Show your realness. Show your genuineness. This is what people want to see. It's what they're, they're craving because a lot of people feel that they're all alone. So with Nicole, there could be that person that is three and 400 pounds that is trapped inside their body and they're looking at Nicole and I'm like, and they're, they're going to say, oh, Nicole doesn't understand. She's 135 pounds, soaking wet, ripped, doing MMA, beating people up now. But if Nicole was to share her story and let people know that she was over 300 pounds and she had to go through so many things to get to where she is now, she becomes more relatable. Nicole represents the after for anyone that is really serious about changing their life. And that's the message that she has for people. Everyone has a message. Everyone has a story. It just needs to be told. So everyone needs to speak up and really let themselves out there. So if this has made sense, please type Y or yes in the chat box. Give me some hearts, 
some thumbs, wow faces, and again, um, if you feel inclined to do so and you would like to download a free PDF of my LinkedIn profile page, all you have to do is ha you share this on your personal or private page. Use the hashtag I shared or tag three teammates and I will send that to you. Um, so again, three things that you can do. Post things that people want to see. You, your life, your family. And Nicole says, I did uh, a live on um, depression and mental illness last night, just being real, and the response was huge. So I highly suggest you connect with Nicole on Facebook. Just click on her name, follow her, send her a friend request, and go watch her live from yesterday about depression and mental illness. Um, that is a powerful message. And share her Facebook live, because by sharing each other's Facebook lives, you don't know who it's gonna impact in our networks. It's really important that we support each other. Um, so again, post things that people want to see, you, your life, your family. Um, number two, post things that people outside of your opportunity will engage with. It's so, so important. And number three, post things that will engage people on a human level. Talking about depression, talking about mental illness, being pregnant in your 40s, you know, going through divorce, filing for bankruptcy, your, you know, people going, like whatever it is, bring yourself down to a human level. So guys, uh, again, I encourage you to share this live with your teams by either sharing it on your team page or, pri or personal page or tagging three people. Use the hashtag I tagged or I shared and I will send you a free link to download that later. Uh, and again, for all the people that participated, uh, Tara, Jolene, Nicole, Roseanne, um, Dennis, um, who else was engaging, uh, Pam, um, thank you guys so, so much for really making these lives. Laura, thank you guys for making these lives. And Kathleen, uh, for making these lives truly what they're meant to be, which is a place where we can come together and, and really share something with each other to move each other forward. Um, so much love, gratitude um, to each and every one of you. I hope you guys have a beautiful, beautiful rest of your Tuesday, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye, everybody.